Hi, my name is Nick and I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning Services. Today we've got a project that we're going to tackle. It is a uh, outdoor project and it was conducted in an area with no real buildings, nothing geometrically that's going to allow the scene software to register the project uh, without targets. So as you know, when you scan and you're inside of a building, outside of a building, uh, around a bunch of equipment that's stationary. These things are used for registration by the scene software. It's looking for uh, common angles, walls, furniture, equipment, and that's used to, it will rotate each scans one and two, look for those common uh, geometry uh, sort of corners, and it'll lock them together like a puzzle pieces. Uh, then it's going to tighten that registration up by looking for common laser points between the two scans, X, Y, Z points. So if you are not in an area where you have this sort of geometry filled uh, sort of scene, we'll take a look at what we've got here. We've got an outdoor setting. There's a lot of water around. And there are these small islands that were scanned for research purposes. Now, as you can see, we've got the sphere targets laid out in an array, and they're going to now be used to register or to put the scans together. When you scan in a manner like this, you're moving the scanner from one position to the next. You've got five or six sphere targets around the scanner, and then you're moving three tar sphere targets each time you scan while you're leaving three stationary behind. So when you're looking at scans one and two, there will be three targets that did not move between the two, and that's what's going to be used as reference points to register the scans together. Uh, again, subsequently moving the scanner again, you're going to take those spheres that are furthest away and move them in front of the scanner, again, leaving three targets stationary between the two. We have videos on this. If you want to take a look, uh, they're very simple. Uh, it's all uh, principle based. So uh, let's just move, go ahead and move forward here. We understand what our terrain is like. Now we need to look at our scan tree on the left. You see that the scans are named differently. So, you know, you've got scans one, two, three, four, five, Look at the beginning of that name, Garden 1, Garden 2, Garden 3, Garden 4. These are all different islands that are not meant to be combined together. So they're all separate entities and they're going to be registered as such. So before we even begin, we need to go to our main scans folder. We need to right click and then go to New and Cluster. And we're going to go ahead and call this Garden 1. We're going to take left click on the first, go to the last of the Garden 1 scans, hold the shift key, right click. And now we're just going to drag with our left key and our mouse up to the Garden 1. And we drop them in. And as you can see, all the Garden 1 scans are now present inside of the Garden 1 cluster. We're just quickly going to do that a couple more times here. You cannot have spaces in the cluster names. Uh, why that is, I don't know. You'll have to ask Pharaoh, but that is uh, that is what it is. We're going to go ahead and drag and drop Garden 2. It's all very fast. Once this is done, we're going to be able to begin our registration, beginning with processing. Now, if we did not use sphere targets, we could go directly into registration, but we did use the sphere targets. They need to be identified by the software. So we're going to go into processing. Now, up in the left-hand corner, it says process scans. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Now you can see 
Now that we've created these clusters, garden one, two, three, four, you can see that they're just like a file folder. And we can go ahead and register them, pre-processing them one at a time. It's going to confuse the software if we try to register all of those scans and then hope that it breaks them down naturally into their own clusters. We might as well just do that for the software. Now we're going to highlight garden one, go to configure processing. The main thing we need to do is come to the find targets section and make sure that the sphere targets option is chosen, not checkerboards, markers, but we're looking for spheres. Secondly, you've got a sphere radii. We're using 140 millimeter spheres. So therefore our radii is 0 0.07 meters. Lastly, we're going down here to our registration method right here. It's listed by default as top view and cloud to cloud. We're going to change that to target base. That means it's not going to try to look for the uh, geometry of the buildings and the furniture and the equipment because it's not there. So we're saying ignore looking for all of that and just simply identify the targets. And we just start processing in the right hand corner here and let it go. Now, because there's only eight scans, you're looking at, you know, maybe a minute or two a piece. So it's not going to take very long. So our eight scans in the garden one have come together. We're going to go ahead and just say, OK, we're going to take a look at garden one. We've got a green light. Uh, we can view this in a correspondence view. And all these scans are going to load. You're going to see the positions that they're in. The colors per scan are going to give us a really good idea of what our overlap was uh, in, you know, the scan project and sort of uh, if there's any spots that look like they, uh, you know, needed to be rescanned or just kind of give us an idea of, of what our coverage is. So it looks very, very good. One of the other things that we'd like to do just to tighten this up a little bit, let's take a look, double click with our left mouse key on the scan manager. Our target tensions are at about six and a half millimeters for the mean. Um, and you can sort of see what our accuracy is through the project here. There, everything looks good. We'll right click on the scan manager and lock that. And we're just simply going to go into our processing again. We'll close out one. We're going to go through. We're going to choose garden two and configure processing. Again, make sure that we are on a target based registration option and start processing. We'll go through this for gardens one, two, three, and four, and our project will be completed. Again, these are not going to go together, so we're not going to go to our main scans folder and go to try to put the clusters together. It's simply finished at that point. I hope this helps. The next time that you guys are out in an area where you are forced to use sphere targets. Uh, again, my name is Nick. I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning. Uh, let us know if there's anything that we might be able to help with. We rent Faro scanners and we uh, are always doing different tutorials. If there's something that you guys are having any troubles with, go ahead and email us. We'll try to put something together and address it in a video coming up. Thanks and good luck with your scan projects. So our eight scans in the Garden 1 have come together. We're going to go ahead and just say OK. We're going to take a look at Garden 1. We've got a green light. Uh, we can view this in a correspondence view. And all these scans are going to load. You're going to see the positions that they're in. The colors per scan are going to give us a really good idea 
of what our overlap was uh, in, you know, the scam project and sort of uh, if there's any spots that look like they, uh, you know, needed to be rescanned or just kind of give us an idea of, of what our coverage is. So it looks very, very good. One of the other things that we'd like to do just to tighten this up a little bit, let's take a look, double click with our left mouse key on the scan manager. Our target tensions are at about six and a half millimeters for the mean. Um, and you can sort of see what our accuracy is through the project here. There, everything looks good. We'll right click on the scan manager and lock that. And we're just simply going to go into our processing again. We'll close out one. We're going to go through, we're going to choose garden two and configure processing. Again, make sure that we are on a target based registration option and start processing. We'll go through this for gardens one, two, three, and four, and our project will be completed. Again, these are not going to go together, so we're not going to go to our main scans folder and go to try to put the clusters together. It's simply finished at that point. I hope this helps. The next time that you guys are out in an area where you are forced to use sphere targets. Uh, again, my name is Nick. I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning. Uh, let us know if there's anything that we might be able to help with. We rent Faro scanners and we uh, are always doing different tutorials. If there's something that you guys are having any troubles with, go ahead and email us. We'll try to put something together and address it in a video coming up. Thanks and good luck with your scan projects.